Hi, you guys want to learn about the Autotrust system? Specifically that guy over there? Let's get right into it. Hello everyone, welcome on board uh, Waypoints Aviation. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And um, today I have a very quick tutorial for you and it has to do with the trust levers, these two bad boys over here. All right, so as you know, the trust levers, they, as the name says, they control the trust of the engines, all right? Now, these trust levers, they work in different ways in the sense that it's not conventional like a normal aircraft where you push forward, you increase power, you pull back, reduces power, and depend on where the position of the thing is, that's the amount of trust you get. These trust levers, they work on what we call detents. So basically, you have idle detent over here, the zero, that's idle. And then you have climb trust, which is here, which is usually where we keep it when we're in cruise. Uh, we're currently up in the air with auto trust on, autopilot on, and as you can see, the trusts are in climb, uh, and they're keeping our speed for us, all right? And then in front of the climb detent, you have flex MCT, all right? That's uh, to do a derated takeoff, a flex takeoff as we call it in Airbus, and also uh, to be able to provide maximum continuous trust to the engines. That's the most amount of trust that we could potentially provide without overworking the engines. And then all the way in the front, you've got TOGA, which is takeoff, go around power, all right? So that's like full power. And then in the rear of the trust levers, you actually have two reverse sections beyond uh, behind the idle position so you've got idle reverse and then you've got full reverse all right so the way this works is right now if you were to move this around you would actually feel some clicks those are what we call the detents and that's where what indicates so if i bring the truss levers back to idle you're gonna feel that click and now the trust levers are physically at idle power and that has disconnected the auto trust and basically we're losing speed. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep it back in our climb trust and put the auto trust back on and now we're back in speed. The aircraft is happy again. All right. If I go to flex MCT, give that over there. It's going to say uh, MCT and the aircraft is basically not going to maintain the speed I want it to maintain, but it's just going to keep giving me as much trust as it can without burning up the engines, and we're just going to keep accelerating. <laughs> and then if I go Toga, all the way Toga, we've got man Toga, and now that is, it's going up all the way to maximum power, and uh, it's going to give us everything that the engines have to give us, and that's basically how these, uh, these detents work. All right, so if I'm going to bring it back to climb, all right, now it's back again in auto trust mode. It's trying to keep my speed, which is 211 knots. Um, or if I go pull in over here and I maintain 250, so now I've got 250 blue and the aircraft will maintain 250 knots for me, all right. So the, the, the aircraft we all the time use it in auto trust mode all right very very rarely would you find us uh, using it you know outside of this however given that the position right is is over there okay in the climb detent if you see these two little blue circles we call them the donuts all right these two there's they're they're all the way over here but they don't necessarily represent what kind of trust we where where ordering from the aircraft those are just telling you where the levers are physically the position the detent of the levers okay if i bring these out of the out of the climb detent all right you can see they're moving now as i bring these back they're moving all right and it's telling me it wants lever climb all right and uh, basically the trust is limited so and if I was to, if I was to, if I was to bring them all the way back, now what I've done is the auto trust is still on, but because the physical position of the trust levers are here and not in the climb detent, you can see that's where the physical position of the levers are. So if I bring them back 
to the number five, which represents 50%. Right now, what I've told the aircraft is, and it's not gonna like it, I've told the aircraft, the trust is now limited to 50%. So with the auto trust on, we will never get, it's not going to exceed 50% on the engines, all right? Because we've got the levers right over here, all right? If I bring it further back, let's just see where it is right now represents about 40 percent 39 to 40 percent you see that the trust is limited and the speed is decaying all right so so that's so that's what moving it out of the climb detent if i push it back in the climb detent again they go back to that position and the aircraft will now adjust the trust as required so it's going to take it all the way there and then it's going to come back again once we have enough trust to maintain the speed that we need you see so the physical position if it's in a detent it will not command how much trust uh, should be given in the sense that how much trust is limited but if you bring it back then you are manually kind of manually saying okay only this much trust is going to be available now if I wanted to take over manual trust the way we do that is you have to push these two red buttons over here to disconnect okay pushing either one will work but as a habit i like to push them both but you can just push one and that'll be good enough all right you have another one on this side as well there you go all right now if you just push them remember that the the trust levers are currently in the climb detent all right so if you push them now the trust is going to shoot to that position right over there all right which is not what we want let me let's, let's just try it okay right now the aircraft thinks we need about 60 percent to maintain 250 knots while we're in this uh, holding pattern over dubai now if i go ahead now you see the, the it's in the climb detent they're right over there if i push this there we go auto trust is off and the trust will just go there to where the physical positions are and that's going to be somewhere around 93 percent n1 and the aircraft is sh shooting up in speed so uh, let me put the auto trust back on again and it's going to see i didn't trust i didn't touch the trust levers i just put the trust back on kept it in the climb detent and the aircraft is okay now so if you want to take manual control it's very 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 important that you follow this procedure all right the first thing you want to do is you are going to bring the trust levers physically back bring the two donuts to match the current trust setting all right so currently the engines are at 33 percent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the levers back until the donuts are there where the trust is right now okay i'm just going to match it to the trust and then what i'm going to do is now i will push the disengage and the trust is completely manual now. So now I, as long as I don't go back into the climb detent, I am manually adjusting the trust. You see that as I move it forward, the trust increases. As I pull it back, trust reduces. And the auto trust is off. Even over here, there is no auto trust indicating. So if I wanna maintain 250 knots, I'm gonna manually increase the power till about 60, 70%. And I want to see that speed trend. This little arrow here is telling you where your speed's going to be in the next 10 seconds. So right now, as the arrow, as my speed gets to where I want, I'm going to gently bring the truss levers back until that arrow disappears. And that is how I'm going to manually maintain truss. So I'm going to give a little bit more truss just to get to where the speed that I want and then I bring back once I'm there I bring the trust levers back until until the 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 uh, the trend is not there anymore and then that's how I know I've given it enough trust to keep it there you see that now I've got manual trust but because I physically set it between the zero and the climb detent that's manual trust and the aircraft is maintaining that speed for me all right now, when you want to go into reverse, when you land, you have two choices. As you pull it into idle, uh, you cannot go into the reverse. The Airbus put those, those brakes in place to stop idiots like me from going into reverse in the sky. But 
when you do land you have two choices you have to pull these two knobs these two levers over here and then you can go into the first detent which is idle detent all right that's that's idle reverse and it's basically just going to open the doors on the reverse uh, on the engines and you're going to get idle reverse about 25 30 percent and one coming out of the engines uh, idle power coming out of the reverse thrusters but if you want full reverses you go all the way to the back and then that's going to give you about 65 to 70 percent and one pushing out towards the front as reverse thrust okay and then once you slow down to whatever speed you want to around 60 knots or 70 knots you bring it back to idle reverse first and then you go back into idle all right and that's pretty much how you work the thrust levers so i'm going to go back to climb thrust right now and put the auto thrust back on and everything is well and everything is fine <laughs> back in uh, the aircraft is happy now it was pretty pissed off at me right <laughs> for all those experiments i was doing so guys that's how you work the trust levers if you've got any questions feel free to ask i'll be more than happy to answer them if you're not subscribed please click subscribe um, and uh, hit the notification bell as well and uh, let me know if you got any questions in the comments below and we'll be more than happy to answer you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this very quick tutorial. Have a good one. God bless and bye-bye.